Hey friends, it's Katie and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. So today's video is going to be another buy or bye bye video. I'm pretty sure this is going to be my last one before going back to school. So I won't have a couple of these videos probably for a bit here. I'm going to do them over there but I do have a few and I'm kind of a few weeks behind. I didn't do one last week. I think just because there wasn't that much and I just didn't really see anything I was really eyeing and just felt really like good about. So yeah, I'm here today doing this and yeah. so. I'm just gonna get right into it. I made myself a little list and I also had the pictures of my laptop. So we're gonna get right into it. So this is all the stuff that I'm interested in buying. Maybe I'll buy it, maybe I won't. Then things I'm definitely just not interested in. So yeah, let's just get right into it. Okay, so first for the buying category, ColourPop is releasing some new like super shock shadow sister like product, I guess. And that is the Jelly Munch ColourPop eyeshadows. And these are like a super shock shadows little sister and these look gorgeous they absolutely look gorgeous i really like that purple that red oh so pretty that gold that cream shade i think they're just gonna be a very beautiful just kind of natural products and jelly much like the fact that they probably have like a jelly kind of formula really excites me and these are supposed to be i guess retailing for eight dollars right now they only have eight shades so i'm more interested in trying them when they expand their shade range but as of right now they look awesome they're supposed to be packed with light reflecting 3d pearls for an instantly saturated look with chrome. I'm super excited about this release. I think it's going to be awesome and the formula has definitely had me intrigued so that is in the buying category of course. Okay so also Too Faced has a huge collection called the 2D Fruity Collection and there's a ton of stuff in this from lip glosses to oils and stuff and this collection I kind of have split in half. Some of it I'm like ooh yes I want that and some of it I'm just like and eh, not so much. I like the light shades in the glosses, but I honestly don't know if I'm like eyeing that necessarily. I'm mostly eyeing the foundation and then also the raspberry palette. I think the foundation is going to be nice because it is like a glowy foundation. It's supposed to give you medium to full coverage, I believe. And then I also like the raspberry palette. I think it's just very like raspberry colors. Do I need that raspberry palette? Not really, but I am like eyeing it, I guess, that I want to buy it in a way. And also the banana palette powder also looks good. It just looks like a nice under eye setting powder and it smells like banana so why not? And yeah so like half of the collection I kind of loving and kind of the other half I'm just like no not so much. So yeah the gloss I'm interested in when it comes to that collection is Grin Barrett which is basically just a more nude color a light pink color. Also really excited about the Fresh Glow setting spray which I believe is supposed to smell like watermelon so I'm super excited about that because I love my sell some watermelon. And then the last thing in the buying category is the LC pigment. I'm not, I have never tried LC products, but I'm kind of cu curious about these pigments. They look so gorgeous and they look even beautiful on the girl that was modeling them in the Instagram post that I did see. Yeah, I'm like really intrigued about them. They just look so gorgeous. I'm really into that gold and then the burgundy. They just look so pretty and so gorgeous and I'm just like, I'm so into it. Okay, I lied. I have one more thing. It was just not in the proper folder, but I'm kind of intrigued about this but I don't know if I'll actually buy it. So the bomb has come out with two palettes, the Illegal Filter palettes. So they have Alternative Rock 1 Volume 1 and then they have Alternative Rock Volume 2. I think they both look gorgeous. I don't think I will actually buy them but they are pretty and I don't know like I'm like kind of putting in my buying category like I'm eyeing it because they are pretty but I don't know if I'll actually buy it but I do think they're pretty so I feel like it belongs more in the buying category than the eyeing category. I guess it can go in the middle but you know it's in that fine line. Okay so that was officially it for my buying category. Now let's go into the not buying category. Okay so back to the Too Faced collection. I'm not really into the blushes like a lot of people are in the bronzer ish thing. I'm not really into it. I'm just not really into shimmer blushes. I know a lot of people are like, oh yeah, it gets rid of the highlight. Like you don't have to put on highlight, but I like putting on highlight. Like it's my thing. So I'm not really into that when it comes to that collection. It's just not my style. And then I'm also not into the pineapple palette. I think it's just really boring looking. And it does have that like lime green color, but I'm just not into this palette. It's just 
just not me. I don't know, I just, I'm not feeling it like a lot of people are. And then this collection is a total miss for me and for a couple different reasons. So Wet n Wild is coming out with a Fire at Nice collection, which is super exciting. I think the collection is very spot on based on what it is, but I'm just not personally like into it. So basically what they're coming out with is three bronzers, which I don't really need bronzers. So that's kind of why I'm not into it. Otherwise I would be into it. And then they're coming out with two highlighters. So just look way too like icy looking, just way too intense. So I'm not into that. I wouldn't sue my skin tone either way. And then they have four eyeshadow palettes, which the ones I saw looked interesting, but I'm not like way into them. I'd rather get one existing eyeshadow palette they already have. And then they have six metallic liquid lipsticks. I'm not really into the metallic liquid, liquid lipsticks, just not my thing. And then they have four pigments and I'm just not really into pigments. Like I wanna try the LC one, but when it comes to When Wild, I'm just like not really, I'm not really like feeling it. I, yeah, so this whole collection is a miss for me. I guess, I don't know. If I was looking for a bronzer, I'd be all for the bronzers, but I'm not looking for a bronzer right now. It's just not in my cards right now. Okay, so another thing that I definitely think is just a, that just not something I'm into is the Beauty Blender. This is their Pocket Puff. This is supposed to be a double duty beauty teardrop shape. It has a soft pink jade on one side, the tan buffs suede on the other side. It's supposed to re-blend makeup. This just doesn't make any sense to me. Is it supposed to like get rid of oil? What is it supposed to do? I'm just not into it. I don't really, I'm not like a fan of it. I just don't really think it's necessary. It retails for $15. I'm just kind of over beauty wonder these days. I'm like, is it really that worth it? Is it really like, seriously? I got so much cash expunged recently and I think this is way more worth it than the beauty blender is to be honest. So yeah, not really into that. And then Nikki Tutorials, which I think I mentioned this a couple weeks ago. So I figured just give you an update. Nikki Tutorials is working with Ofer to bring two highlighters that are supposed to be Space Baby and Cloud Nine. Space Baby is more of a blue with a lilac shift. And then Cloud Nine is supposed to be more of a pink with a peach shift. They're both beautiful highlights, but I just think they're way too intense for the style I go for. And it's just not what I'm looking for with my makeup. Also, I forgot to mention these for the Too Faced collection. So I'll go over them real quick. So like I said, not into the blush duos, not into the pineapple palette, um, not into the bronzer duo. And then they also have these twinkle highlights, which I believe are just like these highlighting sticks. I'm just not really into that. They did the colors just really appeal to me. And then with the highlighting drops, I'm just not really into those either. They look like an oily type oil highlighting drop, which I'm not into, not my style. And yeah, I believe they have highlighting sticks. So I'm not sure what the twinkles is. Is, is that similar to it? I don't know. I'm not into it. It's just not my thing. And that is it for my buy or buy bye video. I definitely had some mixtures of opinions. And surprisingly, this might be my shortest video I've ever done when it comes to buying and not buying. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a great Sunday or just whenever you're watching this. So be sure to give a thumbs up, comment down below what you are interested in buying recently. And please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already because I post videos every single week and actually I'm uploading every single day for the rest of August. And just in August, that's how much I've been uploading. I've been up uploading every weekday. And honestly, this past week I uploaded every day and I'm having a lot of posts coming soon, which I'm super excited about. I'm super excited to share so many like back to college, back to school videos and stuff like that. And yeah, this is gonna be my last bye or bye bye video for a while. I'm so sad, but I will definitely be doing more soon when I have more time when I'm back home because you know, I don't film at school. That's just not something that happens for Katie. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Like I said, subscribe and hit the notification bell down below to be notified. And I will actually see you tomorrow for another awesome, exciting video. Bye.